Welcome to another insightful episode where we aim to equip you with skills to navigate life more effectively. Today we're diving into a topic that's pivotal to our personal and professional lives, improving communication skills. From strengthening relationships to securing deals, effective communication is the cornerstone of success in many areas of life. However, it's a skill that many of us struggle to master. But don't worry, we're here to help you unlock your potential and become a communication pro. As we embark on this journey, I invite you to join our community by subscribing to our channel. And if you leave a comment saying, I have subscribed, you're in for a surprise. Your support helps us continue creating content that empowers you to be the best version of yourself. Stay tuned to learn simple and effective ways to enhance your communication skills. Uh, communication is much more than the words we speak. It's a multifaceted, dynamic process that goes beyond stringing together eloquent phrases and sentences. Let's take a closer look at the three key components of communication, verbal, nonverbal, and listening. First, let's delve into verbal communication. This is the aspect that usually springs to mind when we think about communication. It's the words we choose, the language we use, and how we articulate our thoughts. But what's important to remember is that it's not just about what we say, but how we say it. The tone, rhythm, and pacing of our speech can drastically influence the message we're trying to convey. Next, we have nonverbal communication, an often overlooked but equally important facet. This includes our body language, facial expressions, and gestures. It's said that up to 70% of our communication is nonverbal. Think about it. A simple smile can convey warmth and friendliness, while crossed arms can signal defensiveness or disinterest. Our body language and tone often speak louder than our words, subtly conveying our true emotions and attitudes. But communication isn't just about transmitting messages, it's also about receiving them. That brings us to the third component, listening. Effective listening is more than just hearing the words spoken to us. It's about understanding the complete message being sent. It involves paying attention not just to the words, but also to the nonverbal cues, the tone of voice, and what's not being said. It requires us to be present, engaged, and responsive. In essence, communication is a complex dance that requires us to balance these three components. It's about expressing ourselves clearly and concisely, being aware of our nonverbal cues and actively listening to understand others. It's a skill that can be honed and improved with practice and awareness. Remember, communication is a two-way process that involves transmitting and receiving messages. It's a vital tool that helps us connect, understand and navigate our relationships, both personal and professional. So let's continue on this journey to master the art of effective communication. And now let's delve into some techniques to improve verbal communication. Firstly, the use of simple language. This doesn't mean dumbing down your message. Rather, it's about ensuring that your message is easily understood. For instance, instead of saying the precipitation was rather excessive, you might simply say it rained a lot. It's all about using words that are familiar and clear to your listener, ensuring your message is received as intended. Secondly, being clear and concise. In our fast-paced world, time is a precious commodity and nobody wants to spend it deciphering long-winded messages. So keep it short and sweet. Instead of saying, I was wondering if you might possibly be able to send me the report by the end of the day if it's not too much trouble. Try 
could you please send me the report by the end of the day clear concise and to the point next we have the technique of practicing speech just like any other skill communication improves with practice you can rehearse in front of a mirror record yourself to play back later or even enlist a friend to provide feedback for example if you have a big presentation coming up practice your speech multiple times before the actual event this will not only make you more comfortable with the material but also help you identify and correct any weaknesses in your delivery lastly it's important to me to remember that the key to effective communication is being authentic and genuine people can usually tell when you're not being sincere so whether you're speaking to a colleague a client or a loved one always try to communicate honestly and from the heart in conclusion improving your verbal communication skills is a journey not a destination it entails continuous learning practice and refinement and just like any other journey there will be obstacles and setbacks but don't be uh, disheartened with persistence and the right techniques you can become an effective communicator practicing these techniques regularly can significantly improve your verbal communication uh nonverbal communication can often speak louder than words this is a phrase we often hear and for good reason nonverbal cues can significantly enhance or even change the meaning of our spoken words so let's dive into techniques to improve this often overlooked aspect of communication first up is maintaining eye contact it's a crucial part of nonverbal communication when you keep steady eye contact it signals to the other person that you're engaged and interested in what they're saying for instance in a professional meeting keeping eye contact with the speaker shows respect and attentiveness but remember there's a fine line between maintaining eye contact and staring the key is to be natural and relaxed next let's talk about body language you might not realize it but your posture and gestures can speak volumes standing tall with your shoulders back conveys confidence and openness on the other hand crossing your arms or slouching may be perceived as defensive or uninterested try to be aware of your body language and adjust it accordingly for instance when you're in a negotiation or a job interview open body language can express your receptiveness and positive attitude another crucial aspect of of nonverbal communication is monitoring your tone of voice the way you say something can often carry more weight than the actual words a friendly tone can make others feel comfortable and open to your ideas while a harsh or monotone voice can create distance or misunderstanding for example saying great job with a flat tone won't convey the praise as effectively as saying it with enthusiasm Lastly, don't forget about facial expressions. A smile can lighten the mood, while a frown can show empathy or concern. Your facial expressions should match the message you're trying to convey. If your words say one thing, but your face says another, it can lead to confusion or mistrust. By paying attention to these nonverbal cues, you can make your communication more effective. So the next time you're in a conversation, remember it's not just about the words you say, but also how you say them and the nonverbal signals you send. uh sis a yeah uh, last but not least let's talk about enhancing your listening skills a crucial part of effective communication often overlooked is the ability to listen actively 
Active listening is all about giving your complete attention to the speaker, understanding their message, and responding appropriately. It goes beyond just hearing the words. It's about comprehending and interpreting the underlying emotions and intentions. Show empathy by putting yourself in the speaker's shoes, understanding their perspective and validating their feelings. This can create a bond of trust and facilitate open and honest communication. And let's not forget about feedback. Providing constructive feedback shows that you've understood the speaker's message and are engaged in the conversation. It can be as simple as summarizing their points or asking clarifying questions. Improving your listening skills can make you a more effective communicator. It's not just about what you say, but also about how well you listen and respond.